Hello and welcome, I'm Marimba. Thank you for joining me. Let's try some more Ryuku. Ryoko. I don't know. I, I listened to the thing. I listened to a pronunciation thing on it. And it doesn't seem to matter. People still try to say I'm doing it wrong. So I'm, I give up. Okay, you, you win. I can't say that word. It's, it's shocking, right, that I can't pronounce a word. Alright, so we're going to go with... Um, I'm going to go back to the four cog strategy. And we're going to give this whole not coring something thing a shot. I know some people think that it's a bad idea, but it's what I want to try. We're going to temporary lower maintenance because we can actually get by with less morale at the very start. Well, it only takes a couple months to get our morale back. And here's the plan, is that um, I've loaded in my save with a decent commander. We've got a 142, and... Um, we're going to go kind of like what we did in episode 1 or 2 of this series, where we're going to go after Arakan, or Ceylon, or Orissa, Bengal, somebody over here. And then what we're going to probably do, I read in a comment that if you have land adjacent to a vassal, then you can core it. I don't know if that's true, but that's what somebody said. So I'm thinking, okay, this is totally outside of our coring range, but maybe if we vassalize Arakan and then take some land from Bengal, then we could just just core it. Or conversely, if we had, like, um, I don't know, Bastar, which is inland, which means that we don't have to worry about them. Wait, are they a vassal of Orissa? No, they're independent. So, you know, if we, we vassalize them, that gives us like, the ability to core something. So we'll experiment with that and see if we can make something happen. So for now, let's go up to speed 5 and let stuff happen. We will improve relations with, um, who? We want to be able to get military access from somebody over here if necessary, so we'll improve relations... And improve relations. And you know what? Actually, with this strategy, didn't we just outright declare war on the Arakan? I think we did. I think we just showed up and attacked him. So let's not work on relations with Orissa. But I do want to avoid the naval landing penalty. So we'll wait for our military to train up. And we'll get military access from Bengal. We're assuming that Arakan is still very weak. They've got three regiments. With our 1-4 commander, I think we'll be okay. Okay, we got that to map back. We'll keep him around, so we can declare the war. And still looking at 120 days for the next ship, and then we still have to wait for the cavalry. Probably raise maintenance. Um, probably as soon as the cavalry's done. It'll probably take two or three months to get over there, so we'll be at full morale. Alright. Full maintenance and make sure we put that guy in charge. And let's head over to go to war. Now we can't land the troops in Chittagong because they'll end up getting exiled because reasons. But what we can do is we can tell them to go there and then see that okay, first army will arrive on May 9th. So we'll slow the game down to, to like speed three. And we will wait until May 8th. And then we're going to declare war. They're allied with Jean Per. Okay, that was the same as before. But Nepal and Bengal are both rivals. No access. Um, Arakan only has one ship, so I think we're going to be just fine. Let's declare the no CB war. We're not going to raise stability because there's no reason to. And one day goes by, and our troops are there, and we are ready to go. So we did suffer a little bit of attrition at sea, but um, they have no leader. They'll probably appoint one. Yep, they ended up with a 1-1-1. So our 1-4 should do pretty well. And these transports really can't do much, so... Rather than even try to blockade, we're just going to send them home. So they're going to suffer attrition, and... they I mean, they don't have enough speed to blockade even one port. So... Let's just hope this battle goes well. Hopefully, uh, being that it is hills and plains, and there's some mountains in there, um, our two maneuver is better than his. I hope we get plains. We might end up with hills. Damn, we got hills. Well, still, we're still effectively a 0-3 versus a 1-1, a and that's a very significant advantage. Of course, we roll a 0 to his 8, and in the shock phase, we got a 4 to his 8. A 1 to his 3, a 4 to his 9. <laughs> I mean, it couldn't possibly have gone worse, but we still won. I guess it, it could possibly have gone worse. We could have lost. We'll take this mission for reasons, and we'll go back to speed to teach him down. So the goal is going to be to vassalize this one, 
And uh, who are you? Has the following vassals. So Sean has you as a vassal. Hmm. Well, I imagine that you have Malice. Yeah, we're not going to want to mess with him. We're going to wait for probably Orissa or um, Bengal or, or one of these guys to get involved in a war that they can't handle. We're going to want all these guys as special interest. Maybe I'll save the game. If we start over again, I'll set them all as special interest and then save it again. So I don't have to do that every time. Hey, that's cool. We're going to lose stability already. Um, fun times. I guess we take land force limits modifier or whatever. Rather unfortunate to go straight down to, to negative three. Molten has entered an alliance with Jean Peur. Jean Peur is in the war, and actually we're at war with a number of people, and yet something that I hadn't realized is that we can do a direct super peace with these guys. So, because it's a no CB war, you are able to peace out the actual war goal. I mean, there is no there is no goal, technically. So that's why there is no uh, limit. Bengal has declared war on Garjot. That's good. A vassal of Orissa. So Bengal is fighting Orissa. Now would be a great opportunity then to sweep, step in from behind and try to attack Bengal. Delhi is allied, but they are rivaled with Jean Peur. I think Delhi would be able to get down here. We need to hope that Bengal and Delhi kind of lose. <laughs> if they could lose a whole bunch of men, that'd be great. Meanwhile, anyone that we want to improve relations with? I mean, it couldn't really hurt. We don't need the extra diplomat, so... And... No, we have to stay at full maintenance. Taking out a few more loans isn't going to matter. So now we're going to go to Arakan, and we're going to separate piece them, and we're going to make them into a vassal. We'll also take some money, because we need it. And what else can we do to them, really? Nothing. So that's just what we take from them. We have to do a vassal first. I mean, I could do uncored land. Four base tax. It's going to have high revolt risk. I don't think it would work out well for us. But I do want to, I want to see if this is possible, if we're actually able to core land adjacent to our vassals. So... Do those things, give me some money. That all sounds good. We got 1.24 inflation from that, so that sucks. And let's check out Bengal in the ledger now. Bengal has 12,000 troops. Okay, um, it might be more likely that we go after Orissa. Unfortunately, they are not a neighbor, so we can't take land directly, but whichever one of them looks like they're going to lose, that's the one that we're going to go to war with. Our land force limit did go up, and we did get a little bit of money. As aggressive as it sounds, I'm going to make another cavalry. We're going to go 3-2. And just hope that we can annihilate them in the first shock phase and not get insuffor insufficient support. That is my plan. Okay, every month or so I'm going to check the status of these people. Orissa has 8 still. Bengal has 12 still. What about Delhi? They have 12. Garjat's also involved in this, so we need to check them out too. F4. Is there any favorable terrain? Oh, hey, Malwa's coming. They have a 3-0 commander, which is effectively the same thing as a 0-0, since the fire modifier is so, so small. But um, I don't actually want to be in this war, so... Of course, the only thing that they're going to want is for me to end the vassalization and do all those things. We just need to let this war drag on for a long period of time and get them to want to leave the war. I sure hope we don't lose any troops here. Um, I mean, we will lose troops, but I mean, I hope we don't lose this fight. Put on a speed three and just watch it happen. I was not expecting... Last time, we only had Jean Peur and Arakan. We did not have Malwa get involved. It might have been because it declared the war earlier. But they called in Malwa. And then these two are vassals, and so... Malwa ends up being able to get through Bengal, even though Jean Peur can't. So, let's see what happens here. That actually might give us a little bit of prestige, you never know. Here comes the combat. Okay, they took a hills penalty. That's actually pretty good for us, but unfortunately, 
He rolled a 7. Why are we doing so poorly? I have full maintenance. We don't have insufficient support. What is happening with these rolls? My gosh! That's just nonsense. Any way that I can bribe you. Of course you want concessions other than gold. Well, we're not going to give up our vassal. And I might need to just do this in a way where Malwa... Well, there goes really all opportunity for further conquest. Man, I hate to say it, but I think that this this run is already already messed up. But we have, I mean, we've refined the opening. Um, I'm going to exit straight to menu. Because every time I seem to load in, it crashes. Hey, look, I added, uh, I added those things. If you have my keyboard shortcuts mod, it'll actually give you tips. So we're going to, uh, no, not trust Tuscan Drake here. It's the wrong one. We need to load this again. One of these times, it's going to work out. But let's do this. Before we do anything... I'm going to go over here. I'm going to set you a special interest. I'm going to set Orissa a special interest. Bengal. And... Yeah, I guess... Um, I'm pretty interested in what's going on with Champa. And Diviat. And Lanzang. Then we're going to save the game. Hopefully we don't have to do that again next time, because we will probably have to restart. It's just going to keep on happening. Now, what if I declare the war earlier? If I declare the war earlier, Arakan has less time to get allies. Which is probably what we need to do. And being at war for the next, say, six months to a year while we train more men doesn't really matter. They're rivaled with Pegu. So what if I just get military access through Pegu? That'll work out perfect. Okay, we don't even need more transports in that case. So let's just go straight to the cavalry. We'll still disband the galley. We'll do a day one war declaration this time. And then we'll load up what we can. Bring it down to Pegu. I'll have to finish improving relations a little bit to get, get high enough to actually get access. Oh, actually, at war with neighboring rival. Never mind. That's a pretty significant reason to uh, give us access, evidently. So Arakan won't be able to get military access through Pegu, which means that... Yeah, this this will work way better. Then we, we don't end up with a residual war after piecing out Arakan separate. That'll work out beautifully. Let's label our... Transports, group one, so I can shortcut key my way over there. Alright, we still need to secure access now. Got it. We will land directly in... Oh, shoot. Okay, well, unfortunately, in this circumstance, maybe we do need more transports. Now they've built... In this, this start, Arakan built a, a light ship, and not just a transport. So now they actually have the ability to fend off my transports. Okay, well, fine. Fine then. You bastards. Here's what we're gonna do. <laughs> we'll find a way. I will find a way. We won't disband the galley. And we still will immediately move over there. Same opening move. Version 10. Attached to army. And again, all of my special interests should already be set. Great. So again, we'll do a war, day one war deck. Assuming that you, set, you guys are still rivaled, right? Good. Of course they are. It's a saved game. I didn't load in fresh again. So we don't even need to, to improve relations. We can just immediately ask for military access by doing the war declaration. Uh, we need to start making a cavalry. And I'm hoping that that galley on its own will be enough. To, to prevent them from using their navy to stop us. Okay, speed five. Bring them on over. Got both of our diplomats back. Let's start improving relations with, um... I don't know, really. 
I guess we just improve relations with somebody. I just don't like the idea of not using my diplomats, so... Alright, so now we can land. Oh, how sad for them. They got a zero, 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 one. Now we send the navy back, we pick up some more men, we just wait... ...here. I think this this is faster this way. Clearly it is, with the day one, day one war declaration. And we could just kind of hang out in this province. The only drawback here is that this is probably going to give us a river crossing, isn't it? Any chance we could maybe... ...get military access through all of these people and then come around still through Chitt Chittagong? That might be what we have to do, is improve relations with Bengal... ...and Shan and get access. All right, let's give it a go, though. Crossing a river seems like a really bad idea. Because then we'll end up with a negative two penalty. Getting military access through Sean, is that going to give us access as well through their vassal? I don't think so. Okay, they'll both give access now. Uh, actually, Bengal will not, so... We'll stop with Sean. Ask, ask for access now. No, it does not give us access through them. Lana would probably... I could, I could work, work my way around that way. Um... See, so we're trying to use Pegu because I know that it's a safe spot to park troops because of the rivalry status. It's the only province that they're they're not able to get military access through, so it's just avoiding having to make more ships. With a zero zero commander. Oh shoot. I forgot to put my guy in charge. Oh, it's okay though, we're in neutral territory. Um yeah, we're gonna wait. We're gonna get military access through all of them. Uh, we don't want to fight this. I have no interest in, in the naval battle. Please don't sink my ships. Come on, I said retreat. Yeah, we didn't lose anything, that's fine. Take the mission to improve our prestige, and... Negative eight reasons. Your opinion about me is negative. Yeah, we did take aggressive expansion. It might be one of those things... You know, we can probably come in through Chin. We don't need Bengal. Alright, so day one, we improve relations with... Shan and Taog, Taong. Get military access through them before declaring the war. So that we don't have to overcome aggressive expansion. As soon as we have military access, we declare war on Arkhan, which will allow us to get military access on Pegu. Alright, okay. I think I got it figured out. Okay. I'm going to take a break here, but in the next video, we're going to do those things. So, thanks for watching, everyone. I know this is a trial and error type thing, but once we figure it out, it's going to be glorious. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.